Next news is out of the USA. A Christian rapper walks out of the Adams Family movie due to demonic elements. So uh, for any of you who don't know who the Adams Family is, they've been around since I was a little girl and 35. Um, so they've been around for quite some time. They're a, um, a morbid family uh, with, yeah, anyways. So obviously anything that has to do with the Adams Family is going to be a little morbid, a little morbid. Uh, and this rapper goes in there with his children. He brings his children into the, this theater to see this movie. Um, and he packs up his kids and makes everybody leave because he says that uh, the movie had too many demonic aspects to it. And then, like, filming his kids and stuff, he makes them pray because God is the only one who can combat the demonic aspects of what it was they just saw um and this is a movie for kids um by the way this is a children's movie uh yeah and that's where we are wait why did did he not know what he's going into like this? there's no way he didn't know <laughs> <laughs> no way do you think that it might be true again i i'm just guessing that he knew that this is a movie that is he wouldn't like, but he just wanted an opportunity to film this and put this on social media that they're praying the uh, satanic forces away. Absolutely, because I've never heard of, of this Christian rapper before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, and now his name is popping up, you know? Okay. So absolutely, but... it's brilliant. So see, again, if that is if that was his plan, again... <laughs> This this is smart. I'm sorry, but this is smart because a lot of times atheists look at stuff stories like this and we're like, haha, dumb Christians, so stupid. But then if you actually know what the motivation was, if you dig in a bit deeper, it might have actually been smarter than what you think, right? A lot of times religious people that do stuff that atheists think is dumb, but if they if you look at it from a not from a moral perspective but from a strategic perspective if you actually dig in a little bit deeper it's a lot smarter than you think this guy yeah. is a rapper a lot of people are making f fun of him and mentioning his name and he's also making fun of us all the way to the bank right like because <laughs> right. a lot of people now are mentioning his name and linking to him and but i do feel sad for his kids yeah I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was just terrible. Right. Will he, will he allow his kids to watch Scooby-Doo now? Because I, I think, yeah, the Adam's family is in Scooby-Doo. Yeah, and as the article points out, this was a, a lost opportunity to teach his children, right? If he truly believed this movie was demonic and it was just evil, he could have at least let his kids see the movie and see what evil, horrible things would have happened after. It was, it was just a missed learning opportunity, in my opinion. But I don't think that this was about that. I really do believe this is about him putting this out on social media, mm. bringing his kids into it, taunting his children, hey, we're going to go have a fun time, rip it away from his kids. That was mean. And as um, another godless atheist points out, the Adams family has actually been around since the mid sixties. I forgot about that. It was a black and white show before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's been around forever. Everyone knows. Um, Adam's family. Just, I knew. He's just saying into. maybe he thought it was Adams family with Eve, Cain and Abel. I, <laughs> Adams family. That's true. That's actually, I didn't think about that. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me actually see what the top comment is. Top comment is, is from Jenna. My kids are so excited for this movie. Um, somebody else that I can't pronounce the name is saying, still got, still got your money, uh, money dummy. Like, really? So you don't know the Adams Family? Uh, religious people are wild. Again, I think he's, uh, if maybe he's that dumb. Or maybe he just let <laughs> he set a bait for atheists and and we just took it and now he's just benefiting from that. Like I think maybe all of these attention that he's getting is that's what exactly what he was planning for. But to use his kids for that, that's if that was his plan. This guy is clever, but he's also like evil because he's using his kids as a way to. Right. <laughs> to sell his brand, <laughs> uh, Richard is saying now I've got to find this his music so I can tear it apart along with his beliefs. Yeah, again, Richard, good luck. People think when they go like on iTunes 
or and leave a negative review for for music or something like that they don't know that they're actually giving more links to it from your profile to theirs exactly people are gonna want to see what's so bad about it yeah and people you know and atheists uh, you know, sometimes people come on Atheist Republic's YouTube channel. They're like, I only showed up here to leave a dislike. I, I buy. I like, oh, wow. So horrible. You do, you do know yeah, your dislike just gave an engagement to our YouTube ch you know, channel. And you <laughs> also left a comment, which gave another engagement to our YouTube channel. You do, you do realize that you're promoting our channel. Like, and people come and swear and like leave, leave negative comments. They have no idea that they're actually promoting. These, uh, yeah, actually, actually, this happened to me. Like, uh, there's this conservative friend I have, and he uh, left a very bad comment under an atheist page, and I got the notification that your friend has left a comment, and I got to see the post, which was quite interesting. So, yeah. I wanted to thank him. <laughs> thank you for giving me that notification. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, people, when they, people, uh, and people come and say, leave nasty, like, even when they swear, right? And they're like, oh, this is, sh uh, I, I almost worried now. They notifying all their friends about our video. So thank you for that. Stephanie is saying, "Sweet, this means there will be more room in the theater." Actually, what what are you talking about, Stephanie? When he bought it, like, do you think somebody's gonna come halfway during the show and fill out that seat? <laughs> what? I don't know. Okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.